the fear that surrounds cannabis it comes from 70, 80 years of constant misinformation. My family, all four of my children, understand cannabis, they call it medicine. I went through breast cancer in 2004. Going through chemotherapy is suffering. I asked many of my friends, what's the experience, what are you doing? And, and my friend David Crosby, he was the first one who said, you know, Melissa, you, you have to do medicinal marijuana. It's too hard otherwise. And after my first chemo, they offered me, you know, a steroid and a pain reliever. And it was like, here's five, six pharmaceuticals. And I'm like, no, I'm going to go this natural way when I'm on chemo. When I started using cannabis, I smoked to be normal. I smoked to be out of pain. It, it wasn't about being high. It wasn't at all anything like that. It was just being to a place where I could communicate with my children, to where I could uh, get up, to where I could eat. It was great medicine. There's a funny, funny thing that people take on, especially grown-ups, because of how we were raised with this stigma. And my parents, they were drinking their, their drinks and such, but don't you dare smoke that pot. That pot was the worst thing. My children have a very clear understanding of cannabis. When I hold it without shame or confusion, then they can understand it. As simple as if I was pointing to a bottle of Percocet and said, that's mama's medicine, you take the, the naughtiness out of it and it's not something that kids then run to. I have smoked with my older two. It was funny at first, and, and then, then they realized it's, it's a very natural you know, end of the day, and it brings, it brings you closer. So I'd much rather have a smoke with my grown kids than a, than a drink, oh God, no. Cannabis is the best marital aid. You get a nice indica when it's date night, and it takes down your inhibitions. Your sexual desires are enhanced. We take a bath every night and, and smoke and talk and wind down and sleep a very, very good night's sleep, and sleep is extremely important. I decided a few years ago to really get involved with the cannabis industry, and I, I saw some people who were just just getting beaten down by the DEA and by the federal government just over and over and over. And I said, I, I want to help and I want to be part of this. I uh, created Etheridge Farms and we are rolling out uh, this year. There's a lot of opportunities for women to make this the first industry that has been run by so many women. It's, it's, it's a beautiful opportunity. I would hope that in the future, 10 years from now, I hope that there would be households that felt this was a holistic choice, or at the very least, not have a fear of what a plant medicine can do with your body. Health is a civil right. I liken the cannabis revolution to the same-sex marriage, uh, because it was, there was just so much fear involved. Cannabis is a resource. Cannabis is an alternative. It's clear this medicine that is cannabis helps.